वेलकम टू एन अदर वीडियो द टॉपिक दैट वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस वीडियो इज द हेयर्स बिफोर वी प्रोसीड लेट मी टेल यू दैट दिस इज माई सेकेंड वीडियो इन द सीरीज ऑफ वीडियोज ऑन एपेंडेजेज ऑफ द स्किन द फर्स्ट वीडियो इज ऑन नेल्स द लिंक ऑफ विच इज प्रोवाइडेड फॉर योर रेफरेंस स्टार्टिंग ऑफ विद द हेयर्स द हेयर्स ग्रो आउट ऑफ फॉलिकल्स लेट मी टेल यू हाउ दीज हेयर फॉलिकल्स आर फॉर्म्ड हेयर फॉलिकल्स आर द इनवेजिनेशन ऑफ द एपीडर्मिस इन टू द डर्मिस so this is this line represents the epidermis of the skin it invaginates or goes inside in an oblique fashion till it reaches the end or the lower part of the dermis and ends in a concavity or an expanded extremity called the hair bulb this concavity of the hair bulb is filled with vascular connective tissue which is called the hair papilla i have done a video on the layers of the skin epidermis dermis and superficial fascia which is also called the subcutaneous tissue the link of which is also provided for your reference before we end the video i would like to cover one more term which is the erector pili muscle it's a band of smooth muscle which connects the lower end of the hair follicle to the upper part of the dermis and its function is to contract the hair follicle when the sympathetic nervous system is activated in my following video i'll be discussing how the contraction of this muscle leads to the formation of goose flesh on human skin